Not until you told me. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, I thought you knew. Well, I know now because you told me. Amen. My father taught me as a teenager. He said, son, be careful. Uh, 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 don't go telling things that you have done. Amen. Because a lot of times people don't know it. You think they know it, but more people tell on themselves than people know it. You, you the biggest purveyor of your own rumors. Amen. The best thing for you to do is shut your mouth and be quiet. Amen. Because a lot of times people tell on themselves. She was terrified. This woman that was called in adultery was terrified because she could have been put to death. Verse number five says, verse five says, now Moses in the law commanded us that should that such should be stoned, but what saith thou? Here's the situation. I've been caught. I could be put to death. Amen. This woman had a concern. She had a fear. She, had, she was terrified. She was exposed. She was in the midst of all of these people. Amen. And the threat was death. That's terrifying. It wasn't just a matter of she was going to be talked about. She was going to be put to death. There was a trial there. So sin will what? Bring terror. The devil is the greatest terrorist there is. The devil will have you up at night thinking about stuff that ain't nobody thinking about. The devil will be terrified, be bringing terror to you at, in the noonday, in the morning. He, he loves to taunt you. Amen. Amen. Because he knows of that sin. He's an accuser of the brethren, the Bible says. Amen. Amen. And so, therefore, that's why accurate knowledge is necessary for us to not allow that terrorist to have reign in our lives. Amen. Number three, what sin will do uh, is she was shamed. Sin will bring shame. Amen. She was caught in this very act, and she was shamed. Sin will bring shame in your life. Shame is what? An unpleasant, self-conscious emotion. Amen. Shame is going on in your mind when ain't nobody even talking. It is a self-conscious emotion. Amen. You don't want sin in your life because it'll bring shame to you. Amen. Praise God. It says uh, that what is shame? Shame is self-conscious emotion typically associated with a negative evaluation of the self. Amen. Withdrawal. When people are shameful, they ain't going to come around. You got to always some, sometimes feel like you got to go make sure that you reach out to people of the community of faith that are part of the community, a part of the church, amen, because sometimes you ain't seen somebody in a long time because somewhere or another they're shameful. You got to let them know that I don't care what you've done and where you've been and what your situation is. God has already taken care of your sin, amen. Come on back to church. Come back to the fellowship. Come back to a place where people love. Come back to a place where people accept you. Come back to a place where people will bring healing to your life and restoration to your life and not uh, shame you. But what shame does is it is a self-conscious situation where you are thinking that you are condemned and you have condemned yourself. You have allowed the enemy to accuse you and you have bought into those lies and therefore what do you do? You go and hide. You back up. We don't see you. Amen. That's what shame will do for you. Amen. Shame will also bring feelings of distress, exposure, powerlessness. Amen. Amen. And worthlessness. Because the enemy wants to make you not know who you are if you are a believer. He wants you to forget who you are. And if you allow the enemy to play out in your mind and not think about that blood still works part. Amen. It will uh, bring shame and worthlessness to you to the point where you now feel bad and I don't even feel worth. I, I don't even feel worthy. Amen. Someone today may even have something in your life or your past or you're feeling shame today. You may feel worthless. Can I tell you something this morning? 
God's opinion of you is not in that way. He has a different opinion of you. He loves you, and he is not holding your past against you. I don't care whatever it is you've done. He's not holding your past against you. So stop being shameful. That's the, 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 the trick of the enemy. And tell that devil to go somewhere. Amen. That I've got the victory because Christ has obtained the victory for me. Come on and clap your hands and praise God. Amen. Romans 8 and 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Now, that really means, says, there's no judgment. God is not judging you. But a consequence of sin is where you got to deal with your own situation. And shame can be a situation. You've got to understand to walk in the light of his word. Can you say amen? amen? The fourth thing that sin will do in your life is she was full of guilt. Well, that all sounds similar, but it's true. Here's where I'm saying she was full of guilt. She was shame, yes, but she was full of guilt. Sin will make you guilty. The fact of the matter, she did do what they said she did. She wasn't just a rumor. It wasn't just a lie. She actually did it. Y'all hear me today? Y'all, y'all, y'all. Listen, I'm just as anointed talking about this as I am. <laughs> y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. Today. She was guilty. She did it. It wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't just in your window. She actually did it. The Bible says, you know, I, I want you to know she was guilty. Sin will make you guilty. You did the crime. You did what was said you did. It wasn't just a rumor. You did it. Sin will make you guilty. Amen. And all of us are. Amen. Thank God for the blood. Verse 5 says what? Again, I go back to that same verse. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. She was guilty. The law made her guilty. The law prescribed what was supposed to happen to this woman. Moses had given the law, and the law said, if you find anybody that has done this, put them to death. She was guilty. Amen. How many know that you are guilty? Amen. But thanks be unto God. While we were yet sinners, while we were yet criminals, Christ died for the ungodly. While we were yet in the midst of our sins, while we were yet rebellious, while we were yet in our sins, he took care of our sins. Christ died for the ungodly. He didn't die for me because I was good. He didn't die for me because I was right. He didn't die for me for any of those reasons. He died for me because I was wrong. Because I was guilty. The Bible says that he did that for us. Amen. And because of that, we can stand sinless today. I think I ought to get a better thank you, Lord, than that. You all clap your hands for that. Amen. Sin will make you guilty. Number five. The last one. Now, I could probably give you more, but I'm going to just give you five today. Number five. She was talked about. Everybody say, she was talked about. Sin will cause you to be the topic of others. Oh, yes, it will. Don't fool yourself. Amen. See, you got to understand again, even though you are forgiven, sin is a detriment to your life. Amen. And you got to know that there's some consequences. Yes, I know he laid all of it on him, but at the same time, there are natural consequences that come with sin. You go and rob the bank and see what, what will happen. You will be sent to prison. You will go to jail and be saved. You will have a jailhouse ministry. Amen. You'll still be saved. Still going to heaven, but you going to jail. This is what I'm really trying to get to you to understand today. 
is that just because you are forgiven does not mean you are not going to have any consequence to sin. There are some problems that you're dealing with in your life right now. It's because of some choices you made in your life. There's some issues that you're dealing with right now in your life. It's because some choices that you made at some point in your life that are still having dividends in your life. Amen. Can you say amen? It's true anyhow. Amen. It's true. It's true. Absolutely. But sin will cause you to be the topic of others. Sin will cause people to run you down in the streets. <laughs> it's funny how some people get caught doing something wrong and, and want to, sh to shut up everybody from talking about them. Amen. They will want to literally fight because they have heard someone said something about it. Amen. I heard you had my name in your mouth. <laughs> I heard, I heard you was talking about me, but did you do it? <laughs> I heard, you know, I heard you was talking down about me. You was, you was putting my name out on the streets. You can't stop people from talking. Guess what? You can't stop them from talking. Amen. But what the point is, sin will cause them to talk about you. Amen. It's a part of the consequence. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Can I, you know, uh, uh, you, you can't stop anyone from talking about you. If you did something, guess what? They are going to talk, and there is nothing you can do about it. It's, <laughs> it's one of the consequences of sin. Amen. It is what it is. God will not spare you all the time from people talking about you. God, get them. No, 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 that's not the right spirit. You just got to, Peter says it this way, that when you do well, uh, 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 when you suffer for righteousness, you ought to be patient. Uh, I mean, you ought to be happy. But when you suffer for wrongdoing, you need to be patient. Amen. Which means you got to just kind of wait it out. You got to endure it. You've got to go through. You know, if you're guilty, you're guilty. You just got to be patient. Amen. And allow them to stop. And you know what? After a while, you, they'll be on to something else. Yeah. It'll be a whole other topic of discussion. You won't even matter anymore. Right. Amen. Praise God. But you're going to have to go through somebody talking about you. You can't stop them from talking. That's one of the consequences of sin. Y'all hear me today. Y'all not liking this message today, I see. <laughs> they going to talk about you. <laughs> Amen. You will just have to bear it. And just this last week, we saw where the president of Jackson State University uh, was found uh, in a, a prostitution uh, sting. Amen. He had to resign as the president of Jackson State University. That's in Missis Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. Amen. Wonderful college. A lot of people have gone there. Black institution. Amen. But he had to resign because they caught him in the prostitution sting. Amen. Folks was talking about him everywhere on the internet. And I'm going to tell you the next thing. Listen, in this day of the internet, sin is a bad situation. Because it's one thing for y'all to know something or somebody down the street, but now the whole world knows. People in China know. People in Africa know. People in Mexico know. People in it. You know, in South America, no. Amen. You don't want to sin in this time because now you are being talked about worldwide. I never post those things because we're not glorifying the downfall of anyone. We never down glorify and have discussions on Internet and on Facebook and other places. Amen. Uh, glorifying what people have done or they have their downfall. That's not what love does. Is that right? Love does not celebrate when somebody falls. Love does not celebrate when somebody has made a mistake. Love covers. In essence, don't be talking about my friend. My friend is guilty, but don't you say nothing. Don't you tell me nothing about it. Amen. Love covers. Now, if love ain't covering, I don't know, you know, you ain't really my friend. 
Amen. You just let, you, you join in the conversation on, yeah, child. Oh, yeah, I know, such and such. That ain't no friend of yours. Not at all. They done joined in the jamboree. They, they done joined in the, the powwow. Amen. That's why uh, you watch uh, Love and Hip Hop, all them folks is throwing water on each other and glasses and fighting and beating and snatching hair out and all kind of stuff. Amen. Because you've been talking about me and you talking about my friend and all of that. But love covers. But, but, but love, when, they, when they don't love you, listen, uh, they talk about you. Amen. Praise God. So uh, what was Jesus' response? And we're going to wrap up. In the, uh, we're going to get to the good part. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all found out about the resume. What was Jesus' response? Well, 